Now, whose family is best to raise a little girl when both sides love her? That's what a Jackson County judge has to decide. The child at the center is Zoe Belcher, the daughter of Chiefs player Javon Belcher and Cassandra Perkins. Belcher killed Perkins, then himself, in December. Lindsay Shively was in a court for day two of a very emotional case. It was, Krista. Attorneys revealed dark times in the past for both families, and both of Cassandra Perkins' parents cried on the stand for their only daughter. Tearful testimony from Cassandra's mother about the last time she saw her alive and their repaired relationship during Cassandra's pregnancy with Zoe. Cassandra, she testified, talked about her rocky relationship with Jovan Belcher and not wanting Zoe to be around his family. Cassandra allegedly told her mother Belcher's family home wasn't clean. People smoked and too many people passed through. Attorneys revealed dozens of 911 calls to Belcher's mother's home, but attorneys also revealed Cassandra's father's troubles. He took the stand acknowledging drug and alcohol convictions, cocaine use, even jail time. But it's Cassandra's cousin Sophie petitioning for custody. Both of Cassandra's parents testified Cassandra wanted Zoe with her family. Belcher's attorneys objected until a judge ruled the wishes of deceased parents must be legally declared, not just in conversation. At first, we were told this would only last about three days. The witness list is extensive, and they are not nearly through all of it. Uh, the judge is hoping, though, to have a decision by Friday. We're live, Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.